What's good, guys? If you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to my sponsor. Link down below for the most cheapest, fastest, most reliable MC on their internet right now. Alrighty, so pretty much we're gonna get into this video. Alright, mistake number one you could admit. Alright. Mistake number one, in my opinion, is if you get free VC not popping the packs on day one. I'm not gonna lie. This is honestly a mistake I would honestly, if you're a my team player. And you spend your VC that you get for free on my career, you're bugging because my team is superior. And packs are honestly really, really good on day one. You got to get your MT up. Um, when you pop packs on day one with VC, free VC that is, or if you spend money on VC, you got to pop packs day one. That's you're going to get the most MT, honestly. If you spend like, if you're a big spender, you got to pop packs day one. It's how you get your MT up. It's how you make a lot of MT. You just got to have MT. So. Not popping packs day one with free VC or VC in general is pretty, it's a pretty big mistake in my opinion. That's how you get your MT on your foot. I got the $100 version, so I spent the 100 k VC on packs, and I got around 50 k from it, I would say. So, pretty solid. I'll take it. Nothing amazing, but I'll take it. Um, anyways, um, so that's one. That's one mistake. Mistake number two is not unlocking the auction house, guys. Um, first off, you have to unlock the auction house. You just have to go over here to season one and unlock the auction house. That's another mistake. If you don't unlock the auction house on day one, you're doing something wrong. You have to unlock the auction house, period. All right. So after you unlock the auction house, all right. Um, also, get open up all your unopened packs. Really recommend you unopen you uh, do on uh, you unopen all your unopened packs. Um, next auctions. All right. So. Auctions is the biggest thing in my team, all right? The biggest thing in my team. Now, here comes the mistake part, all right? Um, if you're running into auctions, right? If you buy this Diamond Shack or this Diamond Deron Williams, you are cracked, all right? You never buy expensive cards week one of my team. That is how you lose all your MC. That is how you go bankrupt. That is how you literally quit this game. Um, you just do not buy high-end cards. I will not buy high-end cards. I will stick to my budget ballers. I'll show you my team right now. This team is terrible. I'm trying to add Giannis to it. You know how much Giannis is in this game day one? It's pretty much what Giannis is. Pretty much when you play this game, you never buy expensive teams unless you know. Like, let's say Super Packs come out, right? When Super Packs come out, let's say like the end of Season 1. Super Packs come out, that's when you can buy a team. You get, you get invest in them, you're going to make a lot of MT. Literally, investments is the best way to make MT. Right now, I would not buy Giannis for 10K. I would try to get him for a snipe. Everything that you're going to buy on day one or in 2K, you cannot buy for full price. You want to make MT. You losing MT in my team is annoying because there's not a lot of ways to make MT other than the auction house. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. It gets tough sometimes. You want to try to have as much MT as possible, guys. So, mistake number one, don't buy high-end players day one. That is going to be your biggest enemy. That is how you're going to lose MT. That's how you're going to, that's honestly why you're going to quit this game if you just continuously buy a bunch of OP players. Uh, unless you are playing online. But, if you buy Shaq for 100k and you have trouble selling him for 100k, you sell him for 90k, you're losing 20,000 MT right there, guys. Because there is a reduction fee of 10%. So that does kind of stink if you do end up selling them for less. So that's another mistake. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Another mistake is not playing Domination. Domination, if you get some of this done, bro, you get a lot of rewards. In my opinion, I think you get really good rewards. For the five stars, you get a Sapphire. Sapphires are pretty usable. And then once you get to all time, you get Bob Cousy. And this Draymond Green is a dog, bro. Draymond Green is definitely a dog. We also got challenges. Um, triple Threat's pretty cool. Wins. I played Triple Threat? I played a game, I guess. Oh, I played Single Player Triple Threat. Single Player Triple Threat's also really cool, and so is Triple Threat Online. Triple Threat Online is pretty cool as well. Honestly, those are all my mistakes. I think the biggest mistake, you guys, by far, is if you're buying a Diamond Player on day one... That's a big mistake. You're going to lose a lot of MT. I would just not recommend it. But anyways, you know what? Let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, I think this is the fourth or fifth video today. 
Um, either way, we're going to have five videos again today. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.